The economy is at the heart of all we seek to do. It is the success of the economy that will guarantee an improvement in the quality of the life of our people. I believe we are now all agreed that the fundamentals have to be sound if the economy is to flourish. We have just concluded a program with the IMF and with continuing discipline we shall sign off from the deal in April. This is the 16th time Ghana has had to go to the IMF in the 62 years of her independence. Mr. Speaker, we cannot make the progress we all desire unless we are consistent and disciplined in the management of our economy. The yo-yo nature of the boom and bust has not helped us achieve our goal of sustained prosperity and lift us out of poverty. We have gone through another round of painful impositions to get to where we are today with healthy fundamentals. The Speaker, production in the economy as measured by real GDP growth has picked up very strongly in the last two years. From 3.4% in 2016, real GDP growth increased to 8.1% in 2017. In 2018, Provisional data for the first three quarters indicate a strong real GDP growth of 6%, higher than the annual target of 5.6%. Real GDP growth for 2019 is forecast at 7.6%. Ghana's recent GDP growth has placed it among the highest in the world. The fiscal deficit is being brought down from the 7.3 of rebased GDP in 2016 to a provisional 3.9% of GDP at the end of 2018. The debt to GDP ratio has declined from the 56.6% of GDP in 2016 to 54.8% at the end of 2018. Inflation has dropped from 15.4% at the end of 2016 to 9.9% in January this year, the lowest in six years, as announced by the Ghana Statistical Service last week. Interest rates are declining, and so is the Bank of Ghana monetary policy rate. Our trade balance account, for the first time in more than a decade, recorded a surplus in 2017, and is expected to remain in surplus. In May 2018, a $2 billion euro bond was issued for 30 and 10 years of $1 billion each with coupon rates of 8.62% and 7.62% respectively. And these were the lowest rates and the longest maturity in our history, signifying confidence in the economy. 